In the heart of southern China, nature has unleashed its fury with a vengeance. Torrential rains and catastrophic landslides have transformed the once bustling provinces of Guangdong and Fujian into harrowing scenes of chaos and destruction. Lives have been tragically lost, homes have been reduced to rubble, and entire communities are now left grappling with an unthinkable aftermath. This is the harrowing tale of a natural disaster that has claimed nine lives, left 17 people missing, and wrought untold havoc on the lives and livelihoods of thousands. Welcome to our in-depth coverage of the catastrophic floods and landslides that have struck Guangdong and Fujian. We bring you the heart-wrenching details of this unfolding tragedy, showcasing the extraordinary resilience and strength of the people caught in nature's relentless grip. In Guangdong, the relentless downpour has been nothing short of apocalyptic. Five lives have been lost, 15 people remain unaccounted for, and 13 others are trapped, clinging to hope as they await rescue. The town of Sishu has borne the brunt of this disaster recording a staggering 369.3 millimeters of rain in just 24 hours. Local emergency management authorities have been working tirelessly, escalating emergency response levels, and deploying helicopters to evacuate residents and deliver desperately needed supplies. The scale of the disaster prompted swift action from officials, yet the challenges remain immense. In neighboring Fujian, the situation is equally dire. <laughs> Four people have perished, and two more are missing. The Provincial Meteorological Bureau has classified these rainstorms as an extreme event. In Wuping County, the deluge has caused 378 homes to collapse, prompting an urgent emergency flood response. Over the past few days, Fujian has been drenched by record-breaking rainfall, with Wuping County particularly hard hit. The economic impact is staggering with losses estimated at 415 million yuan, or approximately $57.19 million. But the devastation doesn't end there. Many parts of southern China have been battered by the unrelenting rains. In Jiangxi province, the average rainfall from Sunday morning to Monday morning was 24 millimeters, with significant precipitation recorded at 288 weather stations across 56 counties. In Chongqing, torrential rains have caused water levels in five rivers to surge by 1 to 3 meters. Posing a severe threat to nearby communities, the Chinese government has mobilized extensive resources to address the crisis. Emergency response teams have been deployed, with helicopters and boats being used to reach stranded residents. Medical personnel are on the ground, providing care to the injured and ensuring that survivors receive necessary supplies. 
The military has also been called in, reinforcing efforts to manage the disaster and assist in rebuilding efforts. Their presence underscores the gravity of the situation and the urgency of the response required. The environmental impact of these extreme weather events is profound. Landslides have scared the landscape, rivers have burst their banks, and the long-term implications for agriculture and infrastructure are severe. Experts warn that the region could face prolonged challenges as it seeks to recover. In times like these, global solidarity is crucial. Aid organizations from around the world are stepping in to provide assistance, but the scale of the disaster requires ongoing support. Donations, volunteer efforts, and international cooperation will be key in helping Guangdong and Fujian rebuild. While the devastation is immense, the spirit of the people remains unbroken. From the ashes of this disaster, hope will rise, communities will rebuild. Lives will be restored, and together, they will overcome. Thank you for joining us in this special coverage. Our thoughts are with those affected by this tragedy. Stay tuned as we continue to bring you updates on the situation in Guangdong and Fujian. Oh, Hello, Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah